I bought this motor a few days ago and got a good look at her. And he told me that it tries to start. And if you prime it, it starts a little bit, but then it dies right off. And he told me that he turned the idle all the way up and it still doesn't run right. And I pulled it apart and looked at it and just had to kind of smile at myself a little bit. I said, ah, I can see what's wrong right here. We're ready to go. Okay. Now, if you look at it closely, everything looks to be in perfect little order. And it's really not. If you look at the linkage, this is on the wrong side of the pivot. Now, he told me he put a carburetor on it. And, well, I guess technically he kind of did. So let's go ahead and take the linkage back apart and put her the way she's supposed to be and see if she'll run. Now, with a little bit of luck, we can just pull the pull the bar off and not have to take the whole linkage apart to do it. Have to take the carb off to do it. That's going to be my goal to start. Let's pull this off and redo the linkage and see if we can't get this guy running good. Alrighty then. So let's get this hooked in. We bent it out just a little bit so we can get the hook on. There we go. And we'll leave that like that for the moment. Okay, now for the fiddly part. Putting it all back together. Put this guy right here. And that's correct. Now we'll hook the bottom one on. If we can get the bottom one in, in the field of play here. So we're going to take the bottom one and hold her still with pliers. Where are you at, bottom one? There you are. Okay, now we're going to hold her like this, and we're going to take the bar to it. We're not going to take it to the bar. I think I've seen this done on the first try once in my entire life. There we go. And there you have it. Now I'll put the screw back in, and she's done. Be careful, we don't want anything to come apart now, for sure. Okay, let it sit right there for a moment. We'll get the screw and put her back together. Okay, now we're just going to get the screw started here. Now let's get it to fall into its little groove. go. I heard a click in. Okay, now let's start her up and see what she does. sounds pretty good. So we're done with that. So keep in mind with the linkage, always, always, always take a picture when you get, when you take it apart. In this case, they didn't take a picture and it ended up in my yard instead of theirs, which is good for me, I suppose.
But this motor was ready for the junkyard only because he put a carburetor on it and did not attach the springs correctly. And there you have it. We didn't even prime it to start it. It sounds real solid. Okay, I know I've said this before, but I've got to say it again. In your little journey of working on your lawnmower, take pictures of every step along the way. In this case, this gentleman put a new spark plug in, he put a new air filter on, and he put a brand new carburetor on it. However, when he put the linkage back together on the carburetor, he carried it from one side of the butterfly to the other side. So when it was supposed to close, it was opening, and when it was supposed to open, it was closing, so the motor just didn't run, or it barely ran anyway. He had the idle turned all the way up, so it tried to run. We can't stress it enough. Every step of the way, take a picture, and it makes it a lot easier to put it back together later. Yep. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you like this video and you subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful weekend.